Use it right or lose it. The city of Corpus Christi is laying down the law for its recycling program. Today, they voted on an ordinance that could take away recycling privileges mm. from residents who don't follow the recycling rules. Greg Chandler has our story. The city hopes this new compliance program convinces residents to put their recyclables in the recycling and trash in the trash. A recent audit found roughly 40% of what's collected from these blue bins isn't what the city considers recyclable. That includes things like plastic toys, clothes, glass, and styrofoam. The city estimates most recycling carts actually have 50 to 75 percent trash inside. I want us to recycle. I wish our recycling center was better. I used to live in Connecticut. You could recycle glass, you could recycle wine bottles, you could recycle all different kinds of plastics. Christy Ramirez recycles and says she's careful about what she puts in the blue bin. The city wishes more residents were like her. That's why the city is launching its Recycle Clean program. Under that program, the first two times a recycling cart is found with garbage, residents will be notified. They can then remove the garbage and either have it collected two weeks later or sooner for a $25 fee. A third violation carries a $25 special collection fee and the fourth, the removal of the bin. It's something they can try. I don't know how effective it's gonna be. I do think it's a, it's a great idea to get that going and enforcing it because if we don't do something about it now, then it'll never get done. Sierra Luna says she convinced her parents to start recycling. She's worried, though, that fines could mean more people skip the recycling and throw everything in the trash. A lot of people tend to be lazy about it and they don't care. After passing Tuesday's first reading, the ordinance has to pass a second before it takes effect. We'll let you know when it does. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Greg Chandler, Chris 6 News. Now, city leaders also tell us separating the actual trash from recyclables cost you, the taxpayer, roughly $500,000 a year. They're hoping this new program will reduce that cost. We also have some details on how you can do your part. Just find Greg's story, ChrisTV.com. So, what are the most common recyclables? Well, these are the top four, according to the EPA. At the top, of course, is paper. It makes up 23% of municipal solid waste generated every year. That's more than any other material. Now, lead acid batteries, the kind that you find in your vehicle, also account for, and it's a big recyclable. According to the EPA, 2.9 million batteries were recycled back in 2018. Americans use a lot of plastic products, so it's no surprise that plastics are in the top four lists. More than 35 million tons of plastics waste was generated in the U.S. in 2018, and that represents 12% of all waste materials. Not all plastic products are recyclable, so check before you toss it in the recycling bin. And glass closes out the top four list. In an average year, the U.S. produces more than 12 million tons of glass waste. According to the EPA, only 25% of glass waste is actually recycled. How about that? And listen, there are many benefits to recycling. It reduces the amount of waste in our landfills, conserves natural resources, and it cuts back on pollution. But recycling isn't just motivated, motivated by environmental concerns. There are economic benefits as well. Recycling helps to create lots of jobs. Look at this right here. Back in 2016, the Environmental Protection Agency did a study on the economic benefits of recycling. The EPA looked at the number of jobs, wages, and tax revenues attributed to recycling, and here's what they found. In a single year, recycling accounted for 681,000 jobs in the U.S. It generated nearly $38 billion in wages and $5.5 billion in tax revenue. And here's another way to look at these stats. Every 1,000 tons of materials that are recycled, it equals to 1.17 jobs. Every ton of recycled materials creates $65.23 in wages and $9.42 in tax revenue.